so I'm trying to film this, but I'm also trying to improvise because I don't have a tripod, so hopefully this works, but if y'all can see me, that's all that matters. All right, so I'm about to show some shoes off, uh, personal collection, 2022, so yeah, I'm gonna just start pulling them out, and then we'll just go from there. This may or may not be my intro, I'm just testing the audio, but if the audio is good, then we're using this, so... Uh, I guess let's look for the first shoe. I'm just gonna pull out random. It's not even gonna be like from best, my favorite to the to my least favorite. It's just gonna be random because I just have a lot of shoes and uh, or at least I think I do, and I just want to show them off. So let's start with let's start with uh, with the dunks. I don't even have the paper for these, but these are uh, just regular Nike SB Dunks. I'm actually in the process of uh, cleaning these because as you can tell, these are cooked. I'm talking about cooked. Like both of them are cooked. I took these to the, uh, I went to a Destroy Lonely concert and I took these and like pretty much this is the aftermath. I mean, I've actually been wearing these before, but I think like that concert really messed these up. Like everyone started stepping on my shoes, so. Laces are right here. They're actually not standard laces. They're like, I don't even know what these laces, but they're cool. Um, so this is the first pair of Nike Dunks. Uh, this is actually my first pair of Dunks. I have a, I own SB Dunks, but not just a regular pair of Dunks. So this is cool. But honestly, I, after I'm done cleaning these, I think I'm gonna sell them. So for really cheap too, because these are just cooked. And we'll see how how much I can buy them. But. That's the first shoe, Jordan 3 Cardinal Reds, which I'm actually thinking of selling soon. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to sell these. I, I love these, actually. These are some nice shoes, man. Like, yeah, I'm in the process of cleaning them, so I still need the bottom, but the top is it's pretty cool. I still need to increase them a little, so I don't know how long that's going to take, but you know. Damn, hopefully they can sell for something. I don't know. So here's, here's what they look like. Boom. Yeah, these are hard. I almost don't even want to sell these, but it has to be done. Damn, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Ah, uh, shoot. I'm just hoping I get something. Something good, because when you're trying to resell shoes, like... So many freaking resellers out there. We'll see how long it takes you to uh, sell these. Hopefully soon. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. These are my grail. These are literally my holy grail. If I, if someone stole these from me, I will. I would be very sad. Like these have a lot of value, and they weren't cheap. But I'm about to show you guys my holy grail. If they get stolen, fuck. I'm gonna be sad. I always fear that my shoes are going to get stolen. It's the Jordan 5s. Cooked, of course. I I mean, shit, I'd be wearing my shoes. So, uh, yeah, these are... Oh, man, let me pull these out. So these are the Jordan 5 Fire Reds. Fire Red 5s, for short. Um, yeah, you can kind of see the 3M on the tongue. It's pretty cool. I love that about 5s. 5s um, aren't my favorite silhouette. The 4s are. 4s, 1s. No, fours, threes, thirteens, and so on and so forth. These are up there though. Pretty cool. Like I said, the bottom is just beat. You know, they just need to get clean though. Um, the toe cap is a little dirty. Um, you can see a little bit of yellow in there. Air bubble you can't even see. Um, Jordan fives, Jordan threes, and I don't know what this first shoe was. I forgot. But uh. Yeah, let's keep going. The Jordan 4 Red Thunders. Fuck yeah. Oh my goodness. These are another shoe that I love so much. And I... Okay, there's a few shoes that I will never sell. And I think this is one of them. Because... Um, with these shoes... You can like... You can get them in like, I don't know, you can go crazy in these shoes and they won't look that dirty. Trust me, I've been to like Blazer Games. If you live in Portland, like it's always raining. So these have been soaked and I'm talking about soaked. 
like socks got wet so so um and there's they still look pretty i mean not new but they still look like they're in really good condition and you know just uh yeah no these are cool i love how they look sometimes i uh I unlace my shoes and just kind of like let the let the little wings flap, but um, yeah, I don't know. Not not with these, not with this pair, I guess. Um, but yeah, the Jordan Four Red Thunder, one of my favorite shoes. All right, so I've actually been I've been liking how this is going, how I'm filming this, but what if the audio is bad? So I just gotta I gotta press pause and then add another video I'm gonna take. And let's see, let's just listen to the audio. Okay, cool. So the audio is good. Not a lot of, yeah, there's actually no noise in the background, which is good so far. Um, let's keep going, man. This is gonna, I don't know, this is gonna be a long video and uh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of like splicing and I guess editing. So fuck it, let's just keep going. All right, let's go. Of the Jordan 13s, one of my favorite silhouettes in the top three, actually, because one, these are actually cool to hoop in. I like hooping in these. Um, they're just a good silhouette to hoop in, and they're 3M, they're reflective. Uh, I, just, I don't know. They're just awesome. But these are the Court Purple Fire, or Court Purple uh, 13s. Um, the only downside of these, oh my gosh. Yeah, I probably can't even sell these. If you look at closely, I don't even think the camera can pick this up. But, um, let's see. No, I can't focus on it. But the bubble is already, like, foggy. It's messed up. I, I I use these for basketball. I was going to sell these, too, but now I'm thinking of, like thinking about it. I'm just like, okay. This is fogged up. I took the little tape off. They've been worn, so these probably have little to no value. But to me, they're cool. I like them. Um, they're fun to play basketball in, you know. They're nice. Um, yeah, Jordan 13s, they're fire. I fuck with them. Um, I actually had the red flints, and I sold those, which I'm really upset about. Um, little purple jump man, size 10, if anyone's wondering. But yeah, okay. Damn, and another thing too, I'm gonna have to clean all this up. Not really clean, put them back on that shelf, but damn, I'm just lazy, so. We'll see. Here we go. Okay, so this is another grail of mine. These are my one of my one of my SBs. Uh, so these are the uh, the Stingwaters, the Nike SB Stingwater collaboration that they did with. Man, I forget. I don't know what the, his name is, which I feel bad that I don't know. But Stingwater.com, a skating brand in collaboration with Nike. And these are also beat because <laughs> I actually skate in these. Um, the thing is, with these, I won them in a. I actually won them in a raffle. So what Tactics does in my in my city or wherever their locations are in Oregon, um, they do these little raffles where you enter. You, um, it's like a little survey. Sometimes they ask ask questions. Um, it's getting a lot harder to. to like those questions are just getting harder and harder man but um anyways at the time it was super easy i thought at the time you actually just entered your like personal information just your first and last name phone number email and that's it but now you have to do questions you have to answer questions which i don't know i gave up on that because i tried it for a little bit but some of the questions they throw at you you can't even google that like fast enough because yeah, I don't know. But I bought these at Tactics, so I got them for retail, 120. They go for like 350 and up, I think. I don't know, for a size 10. So what's cool about these is they have this little stash pocket. Um, I've used it before. I've put like, I think I've put my ID. When I, you know, when I want to scan, I don't want to carry my phone around. I'll just carry my ID, some cash, and my debit or something. Both of them have it. Um, but yeah, this is coming, this is coming handy. Sometimes uh, the pen gotta put it in here so the pen i don't know this is it's crazy but you know just a little mushroom inside uh inside you can't really read it but if i take this off you can kind of see it it says uh well i'm gonna just read it to you it says please don't step on me i'm trying to grow which is cool 
Uh, and there's just like really small details. Like if you look at the sting water, it's like letters are kind of falling, falling. Super cool. But I'm actually gonna do um, a skate your dunk video because every single time on YouTube, I'm always trying to like find a video of people skating in their dunks. And I, I mean, there's there's quite a few. I'm not gonna lie, but like they don't really cater to what I'm trying to see. Like I want to see someone do like I don't know. I just want to see more videos, I guess. So I'm going to be the one to do that. <laughs> so I'm going to put out a lot of videos, hopefully, or maybe not. But I'm going to put a lot of videos out of me just skating these. Uh, and yeah, maybe even switch up the laces a little. I'm honestly, though, I'm not good at skating. Like, I know a lot of like skaters say that, and they're actually really good. But I'm, I'm bad. Like, I can't kickflip. I can't. Yeah, I can't really do flip tricks. I can only, this is what I can do. I can do an ollie. I could do a front shove. Uh, I could do a front side 180, backside 180, just every now and then I land them. Um, I'm really trying to learn a, a, a fakie 360 shove it. So you're riding backwards and you're just flicking the fuck out of that. Let that shit spin. I'm trying to land that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be posting it. So even though I don't know how to like really kickflip, I can't do like 100 kickflips in the Nike ESP dunks or something. I hope no one steals this idea, steals this idea but I'm thinking of doing 100 ollies in these. 100 ollies up a, up a curve or just get creative with it because while I may not be able to kickflip, I know I can ollie over a curb. So I might just kind of like ollie over gaps and stuff and like on top of ledge. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. But <clears throat> video going to come out of me skating my dunks. Even though they're already a little bit skated, I've actually been trying to get a pair of SBs, like fresh, brand new, so I can make that video. But it's like, it's so hard to get those shoes that like at this point, for retail, I've been trying to get them for retail. Because resale, I actually, pay, I actually paid resale for some dunks I'm going to show you, you guys. But nah, like... I paid like three, two fifty, and I think they're going for like three now. I don't know. So I've been trying to get a pair for retail, and Nike was, has been giving those opportunities out, but I just been, I mean, you guys know how sneakers works. Like most of the time, it's L's, so that's what it's been for me. But hey, once I land, the, once I land one pair of SBs for retail, best believe that I will make a video of me lacing them up and going out there and just doing tricks, and hopefully film it. So. Look out for that. Skate your dunks. Sting water edition. Oh yeah. Um. So, next shoes I actually just have on the ground, which are the SB dunks I'm talking about, and it's these. They're the. I don't even know the name. They're like, flax brown, uh, wheats. The Nike SB dunk wheats. I don't know. The Timberlands, <laughs> but. These are cool. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna show you now. These have actually, I'm not gonna lie, these have lasted me like a good year of just skating. And that's because I'm, like I said, I don't skate the best, so I'm not really tearing through my shoes. And there's moments where I take like breaks periodically and I just stop skating. And it rains all year in Portland, so it's kind of hard finding a sunny day out here, but. When you do, you just got to capitalize. Okay, so this is what the right shoe looks like. As you can see, I'm actually start, starting to use some shoe goo because it was starting to tear. So I'm trying to prevent that. Um, I didn't know about, I didn't know about this, about the SB Dunks. But this is like a little flap. This, this is a little flap. So what you do is you could put your lace, like you can put your lace under this flap and it serves as a little shield. I didn't know that, so I was just I kind of left it like that, and I just put the shoe goo. But I think for um, if I relace the sting waters, or if I get another SB that has this future, uh, I'm gonna do that little thing. So maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, fat tongue. This is like my favorite thing about these shoes is fat tongue, because sometimes um you just you kind of kick your your skateboard forward to get it going, and I have a tendency to kick it with this tongue. So it doesn't hurt like my foot or my shin or anything like that. I just go and I 
push it with this and this like is like a little it's like a little pillow so with with the with the skateboard it just kind of like ricochets and i love that for that with, because with my other shoes i have the like shane o'neill's i have the um the blazers and like if i did try and do if i did try and do that with the tongue it would just like smack my foot so i like these for that um there's a little bit of wear right here wear right there um this is what the back looks like the bottom you can see that's like yeah you can feel my toes and stuff this one isn't so bad just because i ride as you can tell i ride i ride goofy not regular not see i, I don't even know how to ride switch but i'll learn i'm learning um yeah this one isn't so bad this one's actually a lot better and i kind of found out that by doing your laces like this it's kind of nice i don't know it kind of helps all right so damn i'm already getting kind of tired of doing this video i'm not gonna even lie but we're gonna keep pushing through and yeah damn no i didn't even realize how long this video is gonna be but i have a lot of shoes i kind of okay so here's the thing i came home from work or i was i was walking home from work and i'm just like i'm thinking I'm like damn i just want to post another video like it was kind of fun just filming it so i just want to and it was kind of fun editing it too so I'm, i just want to post another one and it was also kind of fun seeing the views because i thought my last video was gonna get a like a maximum of like 15 20 views maybe even less because i'm not i'm not telling anyone anyone about it i am but i'm not like i'm telling a few people about it um so that i guess those views kind of came from them but I, I didn't expect it to get to 42. That was cool. So, like, every time I look at I got, like, a few apps for... So you could check, like, your YouTube analytics. And every now and then, it would just kind of go up plus two or plus one view from... I remember it was, like, at 32 or 35. And then it just I kept seeing it go up. And I'm just like, that's pretty cool. Like, I don't know. I wasn't expecting... Yeah, I just wasn't expecting any viewers. And that was cool. I got six likes. Um... So that's what's basically that's basically what I'm saying. Like when I was coming home today, I was just thinking of all that, and I'm just like, man, why not just film another one? This is cool. Um, I like this. I like doing this. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's just for fun. Um, so yeah, next video. I mean, <laughs> next shoe. Hello Kitty Prestos. Um, same thing with these. I literally take these to work. I have ran in these um and they're still they're still pretty nice uh if you look closely you can actually see like there's there's dirt um there's dirt on the shoelaces and a little bit on the like look this is what's cool about these you got the little cat right there you got them in the back which is dope look at that that's sick and then this is actually a reflective little 3m stripe strip so that's cool um yeah you can see a little bit kind of beef in the back i did this with the laces because it's more comfortable it's, you kind of just these are like socks if you've never had prestos <sighs> these shoes are like socks you put these on you literally slip them on and you're good they're almost like um i, I don't know what they feel like but barefoot shoes i want to say they kind of feel like this because you really don't feel anything other than the bottom like your shoe just, it's just it feels like a sock so Get some Prestos if they're not these. Get some regular ones. Oh, and the interior. I don't want to take. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take them out. Actually, no, because they're like glued on. But you can kind of see there's like a little Nike cloud with the rainbow. That's kind of cool. And I think the left is just the same thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Little details are uh, like this right there. That's cool. Mm, bottom just says air. And yeah, you got the Hello Kitty print all over. Super sick. And I love these. And you know what? I'm actually going to show you guys the box because um, the box is actually super cool. So, Okay, so what's cool about the box is that it's just Hello Kitty theme. You can see the back. Hello Kitty. And I don't know. All the facts. Like, this box is cool. This is a cool box. 
just the way it looks. And then what's even cooler is that the tissue paper has Nike and Hello Kitty print all over it. How dope is that? That's cool. I, I like that. I like how they do that. And then if you look on the inside of the box, so this was kind of cool just opening these up. It was like a little experience, like just little surprises here and there. Um, yeah, those are the Hello Kitty Prestos. Another one of my favorite shoes. I'm actually in the process of cleaning these. Um, these are the white cements, I think is what they're called. But yeah, same thing. They're super, super dirty. Like, it's bad. Like, they're, it's in the stitching and everything. I'll show you the, the clean one. Semi clean. I so when I do like cleaning on shoes, I make sure that it's a fully kind of fully restored. It's I feel like a shoe can never go back to its original like a look, but you could try your absolute best to try and at least get it there. So this is still in the process of being cleaned, but it's a lot better than the shoe on the the right shoe. So yeah, I don't have the laces on these because I'm cleaning them, but they're dirty like it's bad but yeah these are actually one of my these are actually my first my first pair of fours i've ever ever owned in my entire life and i would cherish these forever this is my first pair of fours not a not an not an og or a retro or anything like that but um definitely a shoe uh, worth remembering i guess okay here they are these are my brand new Air Forces that I got at the employee store for 40% off, which is it's amazing. I love Be Written for that. Like that employee store, the fact that some people travel all over the world or like from east from the East Coast, I don't know where they come from, but they come to my city. They come to Beaverton for these shoes. Or for some cheaper shoes, I guess I should say, like 40% off. And you can't even get in just like that. You like you have to have a pass. So getting a pass can be easy if you know the right people, but it could also be super hard if uh, if you're just out of the the loop. But I was able to get some. For, I was able to get like a few holiday passes. Ooh, like I got my cousin a pair of these. She's a uh, size seven and a half, and I'm so thankful to have them there. Cause also another thing too, if you go to the employee store. Sometimes you just won't even find your size, which is a bummer. But these, whew, I love Air Forces so much. I love how they smell. Just everything. They go with everything. I mean, who doesn't like a fresh pair of Air Forces? Not, not much to be said about these other than they're like a beautiful shoes. You could take these anywhere. Taking a mask, take them to the movies a date will never you can never go wrong with a pair of these like if you don't know what to throw on for your fit just throw a pair of these on you're good so yeah i also got a black pair which i will film later because they're in the living room and my my cousin is out there um i don't want to interrupt i guess so we'll show those later but i got a few more i got the these are from one of my best friends his name is raj and he actually sold me these shoes so shout out to him he was actually giving them to me for like a really cheap price because these are actually worth a lot of money i think i looked at the prices from from what i remember these are the ray allen personal edition ones you can kind of see the interior there um so i got them for less than resale which is awesome these are just a little no they fit perfectly fine they're nine and a half and i'm a ten but they fit fine, honestly. Nothing, nothing bad to say about these shoes. These are good shoes. I love that they're black, and yeah, they just go with a lot of just black jeans, a lot of fits. So shout out my friend, my homie Raj, Miami boy. He's back in Florida, but these shoes, like, and there's a few more actually that he gave me. Um, they're not gave, but sold. Um. But yeah, these will always remind me of a bro. And yeah, let me just keep going. Shoes that I'm thinking of just maybe selling. These are the Damian Lillard 5s. 
I don't think they're the sixes. They're cool, you know. I wear these. Actually, I don't even play basketball in these anymore because they're just so heavy, man. They're so heavy. And they're so chunky and they're, I don't know. So, yeah, got these. Let me just keep going. I'm just going to show you one pair now. Th these are the easy foam runners. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. Also, be cooked like all my other shoes but these are i actually don't even wear these as much as i should as much as i want to or as much yeah i just don't wear these too much i don't know this this because to me this is more like a summer shoe and it's kind of hard to make it fit with these i feel like they're comfortable though i mean they're comfortable but they also can be uncomfy because when you put them on there's this little thing in the back that kind of just like stabs your ankle or something i don't know but they're designed a little weird, so there's discomfort here and there. But overall, comfortable shoe. I, I like these a lot. Same, same thing. Raj, shout out to shout out to the homie Raj. He sold he sold me these too. Such a cool guy, man. Like under resale too, so I love him for that. Just a standard pair of Pumas. I like Puma a lot. I actually want to get more Puma shoes. These are, uh, I don't know what these are called, but they're cool. I got them at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack for a discounted price. They're like less than 30, I think. So these are cool. Um, yeah, these are sick. I fuck with these. They're actually really comfy. Um, they have this like insole that's like cushiony and just like a little pad. It's awesome. I, li I like tying my, sh my shoelaces like this sometimes. With the Puma logo, this is what the back looks like. Soto Puma right there. Boom. Yeah, Pumas are, they're cool. You can, when they're brand new and fresh, like, yeah, Pumas are nice. So, <sighs> I gotta get more Pumas. We'll clean these. And honestly, uh, yeah, I think that's it, honestly. Because I, I have so many more shoes. Like, I have, like, really, like, Tevas. And I have, like, slides. Like, Adidas slides and Nike slides. Um, whole bunch of cooked Air Forces. Whole bunch of, like, skating shoes that are just blown out. Oh, but I will show this. These are actually from my cousin. They fit just a little, little, little small, but not by much. It's the true religion loafers. These are actually freaking amazing. Yeah, I love these. I love these. These are sick. Yeah, my cousin gave me these. And they're just uh, slippers for at home. Yeah. So. Damn, I actually want to just get show my Air Forces so I can end this video. So I'm just going to do that right now. Bro. This is the. Yep. Still smells. Still smells uh, brand new. I went to the employee store. Got these. Not much to be said about these, also, but you know, I, I, I fuck with these man. These are cool. I like these a lot. So um, I used to be super against them actually. I I used to be the type of person that said like I would never buy a pair of black Air Forces ever in my life. I would just stick to white. But then like I have a friend who just would wear them, and sometimes it fits. Like they were cool, and the, like these actually go pretty well with some like uh blue denim jeans i kid you not some black shoes and i don't know i i feel like that looks cool and i remember i, I saw him wearing like these stone washed blue denim jeans in school with these on and i'm just like damn the black totally contrasts the blue but it also works i fucked with it so i was just like you know what i'm i'm gonna get myself a pair and i did <laughs> so i'm definitely a hypocrite for that but you know I was a little younger too, so I was probably just, I don't know, it was, it, was, it was being dumb. But these are cool. I like them. They're brand new. Um, My f other black forces are beat the fuck up. They're just bad. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm tired as fuck. Honestly, I don't even want to keep, like I said, I thought I was actually going to have more energy for this. But I think maybe because I'm fresh off of work that I'm a little tired and I just want to chill. Yeah, I'm out. I'm done. Um, I'm actually going to take a small break and then maybe come back and talk a little more. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah.
2022 shoe shoe review shoe collection whatever uh hopefully by 2023 i'm actually i might just do this like every year like by the end of the year like around this time december the last week or the last two weeks if i remember oh I'll, I'll keep doing like a sneak sneaker updates and see because i love shoes i love shoes a lot um and yes i do wear the fuck out of them so we'll see what the the update looks like i might sell some stuff i might trade some stuff i might buy just brand new shoes but i think for sure i'll definitely keep rotating the lineup so yeah and actually i'm gonna say this now my all-time dream shoe that i've wanted since i was literally 12 years old and i sound like a broken record by saying this because i say it so often and all my i think a lot of my friends know but the military blue mil, military blues the fours military blue fours i think is what they're called yeah but where the yeah you guys know what they look like but oh my goodness i just think of those shoes and so i've i've actually seen people skating in those shoes and like I don't know. It's one thing if it's for you're skating in fours, like no board feel, or I don't know. People like it. I don't know. But it's another thing that it's a it's a retro that's super hard to get because they're expensive. And then two is just a classic shoe. Like I don't know. That's a different level of like I don't give a fuck about these.